how to prepare your Canva designs to sell has to be one of the questions that I get asked the most. And I kid you not, within the past three days, I've been asked nine times this question. So I know it's something that you want to know, and I wanted to create a video um, to answer that question. Hello, my name is Yatsia. Welcome to the channel. Before we start, I will leave a link in the description box for you to download um, some free Canva planner and journal templates. So let's get on with the video. So I'm going to show you specifically how to upload um, your Canva creation in Etsy and Shopify. And I have Shopify Lite, which is just the, the little button that you see in my shop. Let me show you real quick. Let me go to my shop. Um, I don't think it'll, oh yeah, it'll show up here. Um, if you look at the right corner, because I have added a product already um, to my shop. It's on there, but let's say, let's remove it and let me close that so you won't see anything. But let's say I go here with this planner templates and I open this one, learn more, and I go ahead and click here, add to cart, and you see it appears right here. Um, and that's because I use a Shopify button on my own site. I don't have a Shopify site. This is my actual site. So let me show you first on Shopify and then we'll move on to Etsy. And there are really two ways. Let's say that what you're selling is a PDF, okay? So I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna give you an example with this um, journal templates that I have designed. And by the way, this is a free download in the free vault, which there's a link in the description box for that. So you can get these templates that I'm showing you right here. Um, so I'm ready, this design is ready and I'm ready to sell it, right? So what I would do is I go right here and you have to decide, are you gonna share the template or are you going to share the PDF? And let's say I'm just selling the PDF. So I'm going to download as PDF print. I want all the pages and I'm going to download. Actually, let me... Okay, n never mind, never mind. L let me just do it that way. Again, PDF print, all the pages, download. So I'm going to download it and it'll save on my computer. And let me tell you real quick what I did. So I'm here in Shopify Lite. And for you to be able to sell, sell um, digital downloads in Shopify, you will need an app. And I believe this one was free. I have this one that you see right here, Digital Downloads. This is the name of the app and I think it was free. Um, I know in the past I paid $10 and it's like a one-time $10 payment for um, an app, but I can't remember if it was this one because it, it was a, a different account. But anyway, you will need an app um, in your Shopify for digital downloads, so. When I go to products, right here, I have two products, these two, never mind this one. This is a little trick that I can show you in a different video, but let, let's focus on these two products, which are the ones that are right now in my Shopify uh, store. So on here, let me click on this one just to show you. So if you have that app that allows you to sell digital downloads, when you are here at the top, see more actions, you click on that and it says add digital attachment. So on there is where you would um, upload the PDF that you just saved from Canva right here. So that PDF, by the way, it's already downloaded. So I'm going to open it. This PDF that I just downloaded from Canva is what I would upload here. So when someone buys your listing, they will get, Shopify will automatically send them an email with that product. So let me go back to products. Let me click add product. And on this page, there's a few things that you need to do. Um, 
you're going to unclick a few things. I don't want to track the quantity because it is a digital download. I want to unclick this because it is not a digital product. So I have unclicked a few things and then I'm going to give it a name trial product just because I'm showing it to you. I'm going to just do that. Then here was this media if where you would add um, the listing picture, like a, a mock-up of your product or something like that. And once you're ready, price, let's say it's a dollar. There you go. And that's it. I don't want to add anything else. Then you save. And after you save it, when it gives you that option, um, see right here, now you have that more actions. Then you would go add digital attachment. And this is where you add then that PDF that we just downloaded. So here, finally, <laughs> upload file, then you would find it on your computer. And mine is somewhere here. I believe it's this one. Yep. Open and it'll upload it on here once it's and that is it. It's uploaded. It's on there. So now when someone buys your product on Shopify or Shopify Lite, depending on what you're using, then they will get this um, download. Okay, so let's move on to Etsy. And it's kind of the same thing. Let me go ahead and add a listing. I click on add a listing and you have it right here. So you start scrolling down and there is a space right here. Type right here. This is the type of product that you're selling. I'm going to choose digital because that's of course the PDF is a digital product. So when you scroll all the way down, you will have this option to upload the, your digital file. So upload file, find that PDF that you just downloaded open. Okay. So it's telling me something about the file name. Um, just make sure you name it something very simple, just letters, but, um, yeah, that's how you do it. Upload files. So when someone buys your listing, then they would receive that immediate download. And that's, this is if you are adding that PDF directly. Now, if you are like me and you are selling, um, the, the template, like actual Canva templates instead of, um, a PDF, there is something else that you can do. And I'm going to show you and to share a template. This is something that you can do only in the paid Canva version. So you would share a template. Let's say you click here with a share. You will have three options, edit, use as a template or view. So the way I share it is use as a template. And then I would copy the link. Now you cannot like, let's say you're here um, on Shopify. You cannot just put a link there and people can just click it and go. Same thing in Etsy because Etsy clearly it's asking you to upload something right now. I will show you a very easy way. And this is what I do. If you have purchased from me on Etsy, you know exactly what that looks like. So I'm going to create a new design and let me see us us letter document, because this is what I want. Um, so I'm going to share here Etsy demo delivery. This is a PDF that you go. Uh oh, I misspelled it. Um, this is a PDF that people will download, right? And I'm going to add um, my logo just, you know, to let people know, hey, this is me. And I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to put it in the center. And I'm just preparing really this um, PDF to look pretty. You don't have to, you can just put like a little square right here. Um, that says I'm going to add some text to that heading. I'm going to change the color to white, make it a little bit smaller. I put it right here and I'm going to put click, uh -oh. click here. 
It could be as simple as that, to be honest. It could be as simple as that. And then what you would do, since I have already copied this link to share as a template, all I have to do is I go here and I'm going to click on this square that I just added. See right here where's this link? I'm gonna click on that and I'm going to put that link that I just copied. And just to make sure it works, now I'm going to select the text. Again, I'm going to add this again, apply. And if you want, you can go ahead and link this as well to go somewhere else, like your website or something. I'm not gonna do it right now because I just, I'm just showing you. But this page can be as simple or as decorated as you want. I'm gonna keep it simple um, just because I'm showing you what to do. So now that I have linked here the template that I just sold someone, right? I will download as a PDF, and this is important. Download as PDF print. Don't download as anything else because then these won't be clickable. It would only be clickable on a PDF. So PDF print, or it could be like PDF standard, really doesn't matter. Download, and then this PDF is what I would go ahead and upload here. So upload file and it's Etsy demo. Where's my E? Etsy demo, there it is. That is the PDF open. And now it would upload um, onto Etsy and you would do the same thing for Shopify. You would just upload the way I just showed you. So when someone buys your listing, they will um, go ahead and download this PDF. Let me cancel and then it will open on their computer and this is what they get, just that PDF. So what they do really is just click here, they literally click there and they are taken automatically to Canva to be able to save this, which is what you just sold them, right? So they would click use template and start using that template. Now, if you have, I forgot to mention that before, if you have the free Canva version, there is a little trick that I show you in a different video and I will leave a link. You can either click on the card that appears right now on the screen or on the description box below. I will make sure to link that video because I showed you in detail how to do that and how to share um, your Canva template if you are on the free version. Um, it's a little bit trickier, but it, it can definitely be done. Um, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something. If you still have questions, please do let me know. I am happy to create as many videos as you need to be able to be successful in your printable business. So till next one, bye-bye.